So, what seems like an age ago, I reviewed the Zing motors. And the ones I reviewed were the 2207s in black and red. Um, this is the 2306, 2450 kV, which I was running on 5S on my Hyperlore CG. And when this series of motors came out, it caused a bit of a stir from Careeria, who had also recently released um, a curved bell motor. And at the time, they accused iFlight of cloning. And myself and a lot of other reviewers didn't really see it. I try to avoid cloned products um, because I believe in supporting the people who design these things. And when I did the initial review, um, I showed the designs and the facts that um, other curved bell mortars had been released prior to both the career rear mortars and the Zings, uh, notably the Brother Hobby Engineer X motors, the 23 or 7, I think they were. So I thought it was a bit disingenuous that career ear um, were kicking off so much of a fuss. Anyway, sometime later, I've just got these in, which are the career ear 2306 1650 kV motors. And these ones, as you can see, are in this rather stunning blue colour. They come in quite a lot of different colours pink, red etc and i thought it'd be interesting to get these in because they started selling them on banggood simply because of the fuss that was created when iflight released their much cheaper motor so these career ear motors retail i think for about 23 quid 23 quid a pop um so they're probably amongst the most expensive motors um sort of up there with um, the more expensive T motors etc and as you can see it really is a beautiful thing and these are designed in New Zealand but they're manufactured in China and the guy who runs Careeria says he has his own motor manufacturing business over there personally I'm not so sure um, he's posted a picture with some um, some guys wearing career ear uh, t-shirts but I'm not so sure someone else isn't making these and the reason why I say that is because the smaller 1407 motors that they also sell are basically rebranched Hawk Sky motors so maybe they are maybe they, maybe they aren't but it's a hell of a beautiful motor but if you compare it to the Zing the reason why I didn't feel like it was a cloned product is because the two are hugely different the Zing on the right you can see is a two-piece bell and the career ear is a one-piece and the only people I've seen do one-piece generally are RC in power um, but it, the career ear is a beautiful thing um, and the zings are also stunning but side by side the career ear is the the prettier of the two motors so both of these come with the all the usual stuff that we'd expect 7075 aluminium titanium shafts really good magnets blah 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 but I was curious as to see if I could see where the difference in price comes from because it's about seven or eight pounds per mortar so essentially you could get you know five of these guys for the price of four of these guys so let's take this career ear motor apart and we'll see what the score is the first thing that springs out is they've nicely added this protective sort of whatever it's made out of silicon or whatever sheet at the bottom so if you do use two long screws you're not going to short out your motor and we used to see this quite a bit from Brother Hobby and people like that, but sadly it seems to have died a death on most motors um, in the endless hunt for weight saving. And we've also got a nice M3 headed set screw on the bottom, which the Zings have. 
as well, albeit this is my old used motor and it's full of crap. So let's um, get this guy open and see what, what's inside. Right, so I've taken the bell off, which took a bit of force actually. And you can see inside we've got lovely build quality. We've got really nicely wound single strand wires. We've got a nice fat chunky bearing which looks like it's 4x9. And on the underside of the bell it's super clean in there. It's a little bit of balancing gunk towards the bottom. But as motors go, and there's a little bit there, as motors go, it's a really pretty thing inside. And the quality feels really, really good. If we compare that to the Zing, which is obviously had a lot of life. Obviously the Korea rear motor doesn't have this little sort of silicone soft mounts that the Zings have which is designed to help the bearings in an impact. And I just want to have a look at these a little closer. Yeah the these motors have got this kind of like metal ring and if you see halfway down there's kind of like a a ridge and it feels heavier feels th the 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 actual stator feels thicker heavier actually let's get a weight on it I'll get my scales out. Get these guys out of the way. I'm only doing this out of curiosity, really, because. So, uh, so the bell on the iFlight motor weighs 13.7. The bell. Yeah. Just over two grams heavier. And I can feel that. I feel like next to it, and I'm surprised I'm saying this actually, I feel like next to it the Zing feels like it's been made out of really thin metal. Whereas this guy feels a lot more chunkier and sturdier somehow. And of course we're not going to know which is. But I've bent a few bells on the Zings. And I wonder whether that's there weakness we just weigh them in total so that comes in at 34.3 with 14 centimeters of 20 gauge wire 20 gauge wire weighs about three grams So yeah, the weight is pretty much pretty much the same. So the weight saving is actually in the stator as opposed to the bell. So the bell is heavier on the career ear than the zings. If you put them side by side, you'll notice that the career ear is a lot wider but shallower than the zings. So yeah, because they're in a lower KV than I would usually go for on uh, a 23 or 6, I'd probably generally prefer sort of 1750, 1800, possibly 1900 KV on 6S. Uh, but I think on this particular motor, instead of flying the S3 props, which I tend to use, I'd probably use the S4, um, just because of the lower KV, just to give it a little bit more umph. So yeah, that's it really. Apologies that I haven't got flight footage for you 
um, but it's a really beautiful motor and as much as I sort of went into this review sort of expecting to say why would you pay 23 quid for this when you can pay 17 quid for this in the flesh this bell just feels sturdier and it feels and this is completely subjective it feels like this motor is built to last having said that would I pay 23, 24 quid for a motor? Probably not on an everyday build, unless it was something really special. And the reason for that is because for the same price of the Zings, I could get these guys which are the ICN power motors and I think the ICN power motors are smoother than the Zings have really high quality um, and, and they last well so with my own money unless I was doing you know a really top end build with a theme where the colour of these guys and the prettiness would be something that I would cherish um, I'd probably yeah I, I probably wouldn't spend my own money on them. I'd probably either go for the Zings or personally I would go for the RCN power which I've had really good luck with. So yeah, sorry this uh, has been a bit of a, a sort of lacklustre video because there's no flight footage but in reality all motors feel really good out of the box. Um, it's only really long term use and as for power I think all motors have more than sufficient power certainly for me these days so it's more a case of you know your budget and and what you're actually looking for and I think of the two the career ear is definitely the better built motor but I don't know if I would spend the extra money on it so yeah that's all I can say honest opinion great motor looks like it's been really really well built but only for those with deep pockets cheers guys thanks bye bye <laughs>